So going back around. Through. Here comes the knot, and we'll finish the number four configuration by going over and onto the east side of the orbit. Being careful to not allow the um, the needle to bunch up the the webbing and cause a ripple. And back through we come. You see that? Mm-hmm. Here we come. And there is a successful nodding. Now, we'll continue on to the other, to the next spring, going this time instead of south, north, we'll be going west, east, north, south. And so you have these opposing number fours, and that's how that works out. Now, if you come up back to the front side, just take some wire cutters, and you can see how these prongs just pull straight out. goes and it does if you do it right it does not damage your webbing in the least oh maybe it catches a, th a thread or so but it's not it doesn't create holes now you can see that it frayed just a little bit this is very sturdy webbing, so I'm not concerned about um, fraying losses of yarn. And that's the spring. It's all lashed in, and it's ready to be tied. Great.